What's just your reaction overall to the fight? Uh, I mean, I was kind of shocked, but I wasn't expecting that from uh, Bivol. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is. It's boxing. What, uh, he'll, he'll come back with me better. What did you make of like how the fight played out? Were you surprised that Canelo wasn't able to adjust? And what did you make of how Bivol fought? Um, Bivol fought uh, real good, fought real, real well, box smart. He like took his time. And, uh, Canelo, I feel like Canelo, when he go back and see the fight, I think he's going to change some things and not come out and throw too much power from, from the beginning. But that's about it. Yeah, I felt like he was uh, he came trying out to knock the, out. That's like, it. Like from like the first round all the way to... Yeah. To the end, he just was throwing like big shots and stuff like that. But I feel like he had change it up and, and be more, feel, more calm. How do you feel that everybody now say Canelo's not good? He's number five pound for pound. Like he's still pound for pound king for no, me. No, you got you got you got to make sure Can Canelo still definitely pound for pound. You know, uh, I don't know why they they treat him like that after one loss, but I mean, he's boxing. That's what it is. They ride one wave and then hop onto the next one. You know, you, you, fight you, should, you fight in the title. You fight in the title every day. So are you going to be uh, Errol Spence's next mandatory after this fight? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that's what we want. So hopefully. Do you think he should stay at uh, 68, Canelo? Uh, like 175 is too big. No, I think I think Canelo is fine at 75 and 60. It don't matter what, what way he uh, he go to. I think he's fine. Yeah. yeah. From all of the top fighters, you know, who do you see giving you the first shot at greatness by actually fighting? Uh, all out of the fighters, like uh, the top guys. Yeah. Um, I probably probably Spencer, but whoever the winner, whoever the win, win uh, between Spencer and Bud, if they fight. I feel like one of them will give me a shot. If not, I'll be fighting for a, a vegan vote. What, 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 what was your reaction to Spence Say that one more time. I mean, you can't favor just one person. They, they two great fighters, you know. Uh, and we want to know who gonna win till, till they step in the ring on, uh, on fight night, you know. But your opponents told me you hit harder than anyone else. Uh -huh. Where does that come from? Is it technique? Is it God given? Is it? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's just God given. Strength, and you know, I don't be forced in it. It's just it's natural, you know. It's just the guy that's gonna um, prove to your critics that you are as real as you seem to be. I think we're all pretty convinced here, but some of the the your future potential opponents or, or peers, fighters, pugilists, they don't feel that you kind of you still gotta prove that. You know, I gotta. Yeah, I don't gotta prove nothing to nobody but myself. You know, I ain't I ain't worried about what nobody's saying. None of that stuff bothers me. As long as I'm doing my thing and I'm winning. And put myself in position to, you know, win the world title. That's all that, man. I ain't worried about what nobody else got to say. What was, what was, what was your reaction to uh, Spence knockout over Ugas? Uh, that was a great fight. Uh, Spence, Spence looked real good. Uh, he, did, he did a good job. Uh, he actually looked better this time than than uh, the last time we fought Danny. So yeah. he did. He looked way better. I would imagine you're you're thinking more of the long game for opportunities, right, Jerome? Like you know, three four years is, is when you'll get you know the, the the opportunities that you're looking for just based on how the title picture is uh i feel like i get my opportunity sooner than that yeah i feel like i, I, I feel like by like by the end of the year maybe 20 2023 20, i just say that because like look how long it's taken for like spence and crawford you know to fight i mean well after the after they fight it's going to be either i fight one of them or i'll be fighting for a vegan boat so i feel like i'm only like one or two fights away from you know, world title. Do you feel bored yet? Because, um, you know, the fighters will say what they say about you. Some will say good, some will say bad. Sean Porter's retired. He said what he said. I know, I know you caught wind of that. Yeah. But um, do you feel you're avoiding at all, Brian? Of that, man? Uh, I mean, you could say that, but I feel like ain't no, ain't no fighter scared of nobody. I feel like they just make this smart business decisions and what's best for their career. I mean, I, eventually I'll see, I'll see these guys, whether it's at 47 or 54. What was your reaction to uh, Canelo's loss to Bebo, and were you surprised how easily Bebo beat Canelo? Um, I wasn't, I mean, I, like, yeah, I was surprised about that, you know, uh, I was I, I was shocked. I didn't think uh, Bebo was going to be able to do that much with Canelo, but, you know, he, he shocked us. Well, he shocked me, for sure. Is he far from the prototypical European fighter? Is he far from the... Say that one more time. Is he far from the prototypical European fighter? Like, his style, is it different from a Russian-based he, he, fighter? He, I, I like his style. He actually actually good, you know. Uh, he, he, he's sharp. He, uh, he take his time. He, uh, like, real technical. So, I think he... I like him. I like uh he got he gained a gained a fan. <laughs> do you always you wrap your own hands? Yeah, I always wrap my own hands. Why is that? Yeah, you're one of the few. It's, I've only you seen Manny. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing this since uh, the amateurs. So I've been wrapping my own hands. I don't like how like like some people make it too tight and like you, you gotta redo it and stuff like that. So I just I know what I like, so I just do it to 
you know, do it to my my, my feeling. And Boots, what's the difference with you and Terrence Crawford? Um, the difference? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we got two different styles. Everybody, people, a lot of people say we fight alike, but we don't fight alike. I got my own style, he got his own style. But uh, I, I feel like I'm just sharper, smarter, you know, stronger, uh, wiser. You know, uh, you know, I'm great at everything. I'm naturally gifted on both sides, power on both sides. I can fight, you know, I can fight on one side for a whole fight if I, if I have to. So, if you can't get the champions right now, do you want Virgil Ortiz or Conor Ben? What's what's your thoughts on those fights? No, it, I, it don't matter to me. I, they already know that any any and everybody. I don't care who it is. They can line them up. And, uh, we will knock them down.